Hello, everyone. This is Daryl Guberman, CEO of Guberman PMC LLC, a quality consulting firm here in Connecticut, and also an ISO registration company that certifies companies in the quality standards, the International Organization of Standards, and all ISO derivatives. I have heard Brian Bryant, uh, the head of the Teamsters, uh, not, and this is wonderful, since 1996 this has happened, it took place before, where the Teamsters did not uh, nominate or accept any of the Democrat or Republican parties. I want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I've been fighting this fight with Boeing for a long time. I am a shareholder of Boeing. I sent in a 42-page document prior to the uh, election of or the <laughs> receipt of Robert Kelly Oatberg or Kelly Oatberg, as he likes to be referred to. And I put in a 42-page document to illuminate the board members that we were looking towards the quality assurance end of the business or the CAO. Ladies and gentlemen, business owners, my fellow citizens, I am 62 years old. And I will say this, that you know something? We have seen Donald Trump's performance and not clean the swamp. Everybody is for Donald Trump, they say, but when the Teamsters, the largest union in the United States, okay, goes against both the Democrats and Republicans, you have to be their warning. You have to heed their warning. He does not surround himself with middle class individuals. He surrounds himself with multi-million dollar individuals. These people don't know the price of milk. They don't know the price of cheese. Robert Kennedy is a facade. I heard him give a speech, get interviewed, and he said that housing went up like 400%. A house is now what used to be 250, uh, 250,000, now 450,000. How can my children even afford it? And this is Robert Kennedy, a multi-millionaire. Ladies and gentlemen, aren't you sick and tired of this bullshit? Or as Patrick Shanahan said, and he's the CEO, of Spirit Aerospace Systems. He was also uh, the uh, the chief, well, actually, he was the <laughs> deputy secretary of defense under Donald Trump, and he has 30 plus years at Boeing. He was asked about the F-35, and he said it's fucked up. Well, our politics have been fucked up for a long time. Let me tell you about Richard Blumenthal. And I have to tell you about this. I'm gonna tell you about Rosa DeLauro, Jim Himes, and Chris Murphy, and all the rest. But I have to tell you about those four. 2009, Lockheed Martin gets hacked by China, taking the F-35, and we're still building that aircraft. That after, <laughs> I have the reports from 2013 from the Inspector General, a government accounting office, and the report said that 709, what was it? It was 719 rejections, 100 of which will cause loss of aircraft and loss of, of pilot. And they said that um, Lockheed Martin, along with their uh, engine supplier, Pratt & Whitney did not follow proper ISO or AS9100, which are for aerospace, proper um, policies and procedures. And they didn't, and they sit on ANSI ANAP's board. I've told you about ANSI ANAP. It's the biggest industrial scam that we've ever seen. We are sick and tired of this, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to say this to you again. I've said it in other videos. Thomas Paine said this. 300 plus years ago from common sense. And I'm gonna tell you again and again, it is impossible to comprehend the moral mischief if I may so express it, that mental lying has produced in our society when a man or woman has so far corrupted or prostituted the chastity of their mind as to subscribe their professional beliefs to things they do not believe they have prepared themselves a commission for every other crime. Ladies and gentlemen, business owners, my fellow citizens, I implore you to do the right thing. And they're gonna say, well, he wasn't on the ballot. Write me in on the ballot. It is up to us, the people, to change the course of where we're going. It is up to us to change the history. Yes, and it will come out, I am a Jewish man in a fucked up world, as I used Patrick Shanahan's words, his exact words, to describe the F-35 program. Yes, I am. We have seen with Barack Obama what kind of bullshit he's done. Try a Jew, and you'll, it will be true that we can do it for you. And that's a fact. My name is Daryl Guberman. My Hebrew name is Mordecai Leib. I know there's a lot of people who are gonna be very anti-Semitic with me, but to know me is to love me. If you don't like me, I'm gonna use Patrick Shanahan's words. 
Fuck you. Did you ever hear the President of the United States ever say that? Well, I heard Patrick Shanahan. Go look him up. Patrick Shanahan fucked up. And it'll come up Lockheed Martin F-35. I say this because this is the opportunity of the lifetime to move ahead, to move our country ahead. I promise you that there will be world peace under my rule. It won't be the bullshit stuff. Congress and Senate, they're so intertwined. Let me tell you again about Richard Blumenthal, Jim Himes, Chris Murphy, and also Rosa DeLauro, who Rosa DeLauro and also Richard Blumenthal were friends of my mom, Sylvia. So let me tell you about this. In 2009, Lockheed Martin got hacked by China, taking the F-35. In 2012, a division of United Technologies Sikorsky Aircraft gets hacked by China, taking Black Hawk, Seahawk, T-700 engine and other aircraft models and technologies. In 2015, Lockheed Martin goes to buy Sikorsky, and guess what? They needed permission from communist China no less because they're an international regulator. And in the Connecticut Mirror, it stated, with China's okay, Lockheed Martin closes in on the purchase of Sikorsky aircraft and Connecticut lawmakers praise Lockheed Martin for working with an international regulator. That means you have Rose DeLauro, Jim Himes, Chris Murphy, and Richard Blumenthal all praise communist China, who has hacked us this way to Sunday. And that's what's there. And then he was on the subcommittee for Boeing, you know, the subcommittee, the DHS subcommittee, when you had the Department of Homeland Security that sits on the board of the American National Standards Institute and the American National Crediting Board, the accreditation bodies of Boeing, you find anything wrong with that? On top of it, the DHS that Richard Blumenthal sits on is also a customer of them. They pay for a fee, services being rendered or given to the DHS from ANSI ANAP. Can you imagine that crap? Ladies and gentlemen, you need a shaker and a doer. I was a runner-up in the Mr. America 1995 because I used to get called Dirty Jew going to school. Yes, isn't that a tender moment? You will find out the news media will scrape out all the skeletons in my closet because you know what I have? I have a $1.6 million lawsuit that, yes, it looked like the guy won, but we never had to pay him because we made the court look bad because we were pro se. On every motion, we put in a motion. On every motion, we put in a motion. And he tried to open the case five times for clarification. A guy who filed bankruptcy for $632,000. Yes, and he's a shill of ANSI ANAB because we have letters from the vice president, Randy Dodry, who was the vice president at the time when he wrote us in 2014, saying, I know him best. He is a force to be reckoned with. He is the guardian of accredited certification. I'm telling you this, business owners and my fellow citizens. When the news media digs that up to try to lambaste me and belittle me, nobody, but nobody will do that. I've had enough in my 13 years in business from Boeing and Lockheed, who are breaking the Sherman Clayton Act for anti-competitive and antitrust and also monopolistic business practices, they're doing it. But because they have our federal government involved on ANSI ANAP, that's going to stop. It must stop. Because also the DHS had a Mr. Phil Matson. Yes, the same DHS that's inquisitioning Boeing and listening to Mr. Sam Salapar on April 17th for his allegations about 777, 787, which came true today because actually yesterday with the engine uh, fittings uh, cracking on the wing that hold the engine supports on the wing of the uh, 777, Sam Salapar is correct. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to stop here. There's not enough room on this video. But if you want true integrity, if you want honesty and reliability, Daryl Guberman will do this for you. I love the man who can smile in trouble, who can gather strength from distress and grow brave by reflection. Tis the business of little Republican and Democrat minds to shrink. And he whose heart is firm and conscience approves his conduct shall pursue his principles unto death. And my number is 203-556-1493. Daryl Guberman for 2024. I look forward to it. Thank you.